Latvia is one of few countries in Europe with wetland habitats that are in their original condition and hardly affected by human activities. This is an important part of Latvian nature because the specific characteristics of the wetlands include habitats for many rare and endangered species of plants and animals. The wetlands also are hugely important in minimizing the effects of floods and accumulating carbon dioxide. The European Commission has funded a LIFE project, Wetlands, aimed at preserving wetland habitats. In Latvia, this includes research into and protection of wetlands in the Baju Meier in the Slitera National Park, the Suda Zviedri Meier and the Davida Springs in the Gauja National Park, the Ziemeliu Meiers, and the Rauna Staburax Nature Reserves. The Rauna Staburax. The Rauna Staburax is a geological monument, a cliff made of freshwater limestone and travertine and formed over the past five to eight thousand years. The cliff is 17 meters wide and 3.5 meters high. Springs rich in calcium carbonate flow around the cliff and when spring water pours over the moss, the carbonate precipitates, thus calcifying the moss into travertine or tufa. The so-called growth of travertine on the cliff is still continuing today. It is an especially protected natural area established to protect a specific type of wetland, petrifying springs with tufa formations. Such habitats are protected in Latvia and throughout Europe, and that is one reason why the monument was chosen to take part in the LIFE Wetlands project. Typically, in such habitats, tufa forms close to the source of the spring. The Rauna Staburax is one of the most significant habitats of this type in Latvia. The surrounding nature reserve has another small area of spring habitats, with the springs being rich in minerals and fens. The reserve was established in 1987 to preserve and protect the unique area, which currently covers 25 hectares. Over the past few decades, the Rauna Staburax cliff has become one of the most endangered natural areas in Latvia because of the large number of people who have visited it. Another problem threatening the habitat is Sosnovsky's hogweed, an invasive plant which has negatively affected the habitat for distinctive vascular plant and moss species that grow near the springs. When the project was started, there were more than 55 Sosnovsky's hogweeds on the cliff. When the species was eliminated, its distribution on the cliff was limited. But the plant spreads itself with seed banks and with the help of the local river, so work on maintaining the low distribution of hogweed will have to continue even after the European project is finished. The mass introduction of Sosnovsky's hogweed occurred during the 1960s and 1970s. The weed originates in the Caucasus, but in Soviet years it was considered to be outstanding animal feed because of its green mass and its nutritional properties. Once the USSR collapsed, however, the plant's presence became uncontrolled. What are the main reasons why Sosnovsky's hogweed should be limited? Latvia has its own native species and foreign species, and foreign species are considered to be those that entered Latvia after the 16th century. Back when Columbus discovered America, the exchange of species was a lot quicker, and not all foreign species are invasive. Those, however, which aggressively eliminate native species are called invasive. Hogweed spreads with thousands of seeds. 
It can grow up to four meters high, and the size of its leaves can reach one and a half meters, with the stalk growing up to eight centimeters in diameter. Un stublāja diametrs var sasniegt pat 8 centimetrus. Šeit tas vēl ir neliels. An invasive species sounds pretty dangerous. But how does this plant influence the environment? What can be done about it? Invazīva ir agresīva svežzemju suga, kas ienākusi teritorijā, kas tā ir sveša. An invasive species is one that enters a foreign territory and harms the environment and economy and can also harm human health. Hogweed is harmful because its juice contains active furin not so marin, which can cause serious skin burns and in more severe cases the burnt area can remain discolored for years. If anyone comes into contact with the juice of the plant, the affected area must be rinsed off right away. The burn will not form immediately, because the liquid only activates under UV lights, at which point it causes a chemical burn. Projektu laikā mēs sadarbojamies arī ar Raunas pašvaldību, gan arī apsekojot teritoriju. Under the auspices of the project, we worked with the Rauna municipality to visit the cliff and to learn about what has been done to protect the territory. The work will not end after the expiration of the project. The Rauna municipality will help to develop a management plan in support of the preservation of this protected natural area. Kas faktiski palīdzēs aizsargāt šo teritoriju, saglabāt šīs dabas vērtības arī cilvēkiem, kuri turpmāk viņu apsekos. Rauna has taken care of the maintenance of the Staburax cliff for many years, not only because it is a nature site, but also because it is a popular tourist destination. Large visitor numbers are actually an encumbrance for a place like this, and the municipality is continuing to educate and inform people, also planning to draft a strategy to protect the cliff. Cilvēki zina atpazīst Raunu un visas tās apkārni dēļ tā vien, kad ir tas Staburax. This is one of the most commonly visited sites in Latvia, so we make sure that people are aware of what they are and are not allowed to do here. It is important for us to protect the Staburax cliff. People must not walk on it, and this can be ensured only by educating them. People do want to clamber on top of the cliff, which halts its ability to expand, and that is a bad thing. When people walk on the cliff, the cells of travertine close up and hinder growth. Local residents are most conscious and responsible when it comes to the cliff because they know everything about this place. We mostly work with young people. Students take part in events to clean up the area, which means that they also feel responsibility for the Stavodox cliff. The European Commission's Life Project Wetlands has organized an exhibition and training sessions for children in Rauna so that they can help to research the formation of the Rauna Stavodox cliff and the dangers of the prevalence of Sosnovsky's hogweed. Tested educational methods have been brought to bear. Children used creative workstations to create their own views about how the cliff was formed. Each child had his or her own version, and the stories that they told were quite interesting. We had a castle that was struck by a meteorite upon which there was a giant. The giant got covered in rocks and started to cry. Then moss grew, and the Stavodox cliff was formed. At first I thought it would be hard, but it was pretty easy. We had two monsters. One had its birthday, the other one brought a birthday present, and it blew up. There were many ideas. The hardest idea was coming up with a sketch of how it would look.
Kas tas? Raunas Staburaks. Un kā tas radies? Hmm. Bet varbūt... Nē, taču. Un kā domā tu? The Daugavas Stavurak's cliff was overflooded in 1966, and since then the Rauna cliff has been a popular tourist destination. Researchers of the district's history have paid special attention to the cliff. Employees at the Rauna Museum collect stories about the significance of this place throughout history. Es pie šī es sācu domāt daudz staigāt pa Stabrogu, daudz vējot vispār pa ainām apkārt un tam līdzīgi. I became interested in the Staburaks cliff because I often strolled near and around it. What we do know is that next to it is a rectory, and you can see an alley of trees that are about 200 years old and lead to the Staburaks cliff. I would assume that such alleys were not planted to lead to nowhere, so that Rauna Staburaks cliff must have been popular even back then. Objekts, es pieļauju, viņš varēja būt iekļauts. Es nezinu, vai tā bija, bet zinot analoģijas, ka tomēr tajā laikā cilvēkiem patika veidot pastaigu parkus, es domāju, ka Stabraks ir viena unikāla vieta, kur nokāpt lejā un kaut kādas lietas tur darīt. Tā kā droši vien, ka šī jālēja uz kaut ko norāda. Cik sen, cik sen viņš ir zināms no tādiem vietējiem cilvēkiem, grūti pateikt. Ja bilde ir no 30 gadiem, tas nozīmē, ka 30 gados viņš ir bijis ievērības cienīgs, lai viņu fotografētu, jo to laiku fotografēja pietiekoši nebija nedaudz. Tas, kas ir interesanti un īpaši, tad raunā ir ļoti... It's hard to say how long locals have known about it. A photograph taken in 1930 might indicate that it was seen as something unique back then. It's interesting that Rauna has such a large amount of lime in this water. It covers the moss and seeps away slowly, which means the travertine emerges eventually. The growth speed is 0.8 millimeters a year, which isn't much at all. But we look at this over the course of 100 or 1,000 years, then it is quite a good growth speed. Tā arī Staburaks aug, tāpēc mēs joprojām raunā sakam, ka mūsu Staburaks aug, nu tas tā ir. Lai projektu Mitrās beidzas un vēlos teikt, ka zinātnieki jau visus darbus nevar atrisināt. Scientists cannot resolve all of the problems here, and so in future this place will have to be kept up by the local government and local residents. I believe that the Staburaks cliff will continue to blossom, thanks to the locals. During the Life Project wetlands, the primary work has been done by a group of scientists led by Māra Pakalne. They have rid the cliff of Sosnovsky's hogweed, thus allowing the plants that are native and distinctive in this particular habit to grow freely. Over the next period of time, local residents will have to look after this place so as not to allow this invasive foreign plant species to return to the nature reserve. <laughs>